Because we use the forest for so many different purposes, we need to understand what the different types of management's impacts are on all parts of the forest. And so we're not interested just in the tree species, but also what happens when we have different tree species on the land in terms of wildlife, or in terms of soil development, or water quality. And so we're constantly doing experiments and monitoring areas where we're doing management to see what the impacts of that management are. A good example is the hardwood ecosystem experiment in Morgan Monroe State Forest and Yellowwood State Forest where we're actually going to watch the impacts on wildlife and forest vegetation over a period of 100 years to see what changes happen as we do different types of management. Some of the other things we're interested in is recognizing that our forests have resulted from kind of an unnatural situation and that was all the disturbance and deforestation we had through the 18 and early 1900s in Indiana. And so we've got a situation where we maybe don't have all of the wildlife species we used to have. We've had areas that have had soil erosion and a change in tree species through time. And so we want to examine those areas and see how we can make sure those forests stay healthy, even in a situation where we've had disturbance in the past that has created situations that haven't always existed there. One of the other issues we deal with now is the introduction of invasive plant pests and plant diseases. We have things like emerald ash borer and chestnut blight, uh, Dutch elm disease that threaten many of our tree species. We also have plant species like uh, Asian bush honeysuckle that threaten the whole forest environment by essentially outcompeting all our native plants. And so we have to learn how to manage and deal with those species as we manage and take care of our forests as well to protect the forest environment we have. We have to recognize that an awful lot of the experiments and the work on individual trees actually can be done in a lab environment where we're looking at the biology of the tree, our ability to maybe take a piece of leaf and create a whole new tree out of that through the use of tissue culture, our capacity to look at how a, a tree or plant photosynthesizes and makes energy from the sun and how competitive that might make that tree with other trees in the forest through time. All these things help us learn more about the biology of the tree and how these trees are actually going to perform in the future in the forest environment.